So I'm Frank Sacco. I am the current Vice President of Sales and Services globally at Infragistics. We have four global offices that are set up for sales distribution around the world. As you know, today's world is very much data driven and the accuracy of your data is so important. So my challenges were was that I needed to create reports in real time so that I can make real time operational decisions around my business. And because we're a global organization, there's a lot of complexity to that. Everything from local currency exchanges, time zones, having all that data reported back into US dollars. Now it sounds like it's really simple and easy to do, but for me to get all that information standardized so that they could be on all those devices in one location was a real challenge. What was important to me was being able not only to see the data in the real time, but compare it year over year to the previous quarter of the previous year, or even go back in history to look at the previous two or three years. That's really important to me because I could take a look at it, my business and say, how am I growing it? How am I expanding it? And are we taking a step forward or are we taking a step backward? I had a cobbled solution. The data is never current. The currency fluctuations, all the stuff that I need real time, I can't get. So it's almost like I'm working out of a data warehouse with business intelligence that is outdated. And I would very often have to go to multiple sources to get the same information, hence the challenge. I would call it a multi-step process. The first was a general interview to say, what did you need? Show me what you have, which I did. And then the follow-up sessions were more of sessions where, where they showed me some wireframes and prototypes and said, does this work? Does that work? What would, what's important to you? No, that graph's not important. We can get rid of that. That's really important. Put that at the top. And we were able to prioritize a lot of the information that I was seeing so that I could customize my report the way that I needed to see it and the way that I thought the CEO of the company and the board of directors and everyone else would want to view it too. So I, I had to take it not only just from my perspective, but from a lot of the perspectives of the people that would be getting access to this report as well. They were really asking me questions about my business that and in some cases I had to think about what the answers were and how I wanted to see that on, on a piece of paper. So we took a step back and really worked off a blank canvas and really put together um, the overall solution, which in the end I was very pleased with. One of the challenges uh, uh, when doing this work remains, well, how do you adapt to different uh, screen sizes, how do you adapt to different orientations, and it's in those scenarios where it can really help to have upfront design and iter iterate your design uh, so that uh, when you come across challenges like, oh, well, you know, this doesn't really fit when I'm using a small phone device, well, you know, how do we want to adapt to the user interface and the user experience uh, to accommodate uh, these uh, constraints? The advantage of designing prototypes in Indigo Studio is that you can quickly come to something that you can elicit feedback. The user experience uh, design uh, teams were able to interview our salespeople and get their feedback on, on you know, the direction of their design before a single line of code was written by, by our team. Our product, uh, Infragistic Xamarin Forms, uh, the real benefit that we gain from using that is that you know, it contains our, our high performance data chart and our other visualizations like gauges and bullet graph and so uh, and pie charts. And so we were able to build a complex visualization in terms of a dashboard and have it work the same way on, on all three platforms without having to do separate work. Every call that we have, every team call that we have every week, we use these reports now as the basis for those calls. It wasn't an arduous process. It was an easy process for me. I was able to go to one vendor and they were able to deliver a solution from soup to nuts. And you know, someone in my position where I'm on the run and I'm on the go a lot, that was really important to me. I realized that when it comes to doing these reports, um, in my mind, I had looked at it as a really complex problem that just couldn't be solved. And then what I realized was that in working with Indigo Studio and a lot of these products is how it could become a reality. By spending the time to break it down step by step and talk in detail about what I needed, my team using these products was able to turn out a great product at the end of the day. That was not only good for me, but for the board of directors, for the CEO, and for all the people that needed to view that data in real time.